Hey guys and gals, Chris Olka here with a quick update and some exciting news about the Dylan Music line of tuba mouthpieces. Uh, today is February 2nd, the week of the Army Band Tuba Euphonium Conference uh, 2020. Uh, and as, as is every year, Dylan Music is going to be there. Uh, so we've got a couple of uh, quick announcements about some new mouthpieces, uh, model editions, and some information about that. So bear with me. Uh, I'm sorry for the get up. I'm getting ready to walk on stage here in a couple of minutes. So the first thing is, is there's going to be um, some new uh, additions to the uh, Roy Lance uh, Dylan uh, model mouthpieces. Uh, the first one to note is that uh, the Roy Lance model that was previously known as the CB1, Roy Lance CB1 model, is now going to be offered in three different uh, weight blanks. There's going to be a light, a medium, and a heavy weight version of those. Uh, and they're going to, because there's going to be those options, they're going to change the name or designation. So the internal uh, dimensions of the mouthpiece, the throat, the rim, etc., the cup, all that's going to stay the same. But instead of being called the CB1, it's going to be called the TDC1, then L, M, or H, standing for light, medium, and heavy. So it, uh, TD stands for Thunderdome, which is Mike Roylance's uh, warm-up class and thundering herd of young, awesome tuba superstars that study with him up in Boston at, at Boston University as well as uh, New England Conservatory. If you're ever in Boston, you should go check that out. It's called the Thunderdome. So TD standing for Thunderdome, then C standing for Contrabass, one being uh, the first model that he's designed, and then L, M, or H, and offered in the Euro shank or the American shank. Uh, then there's going to be two uh, base tuba models, and those will also be uh, indicated by TD standing for Thunderdome, and then B for bass, and O for orchestral. So there'll be a TDBO. So that'll be Mike's uh, bass tuba mouthpiece for orchestral use. And that's only gonna be in one blank, uh, one weight blank. And with one shank option, there's gonna be, it's, it's, it's a middle, middle shank, kind of like an in-between shank between a Euro size and an American. It's larger than the American shank, but smaller than the Euro size. And that's going to be the TDBO standing for uh, orchestral. And that's the Roy Lance TDBO. Then the Roy Lance TDBS. So Thunderdome, uh, Thunderdome, B for bass, S for solo. And uh, that one is also going to only be offered in one uh, blank weight as well as one shank size. Uh, that mouthpiece the specs will be up on, uh, available soon on the Dylan Music website, but that cup is a little bit bigger, it's a little bit more open, and uh, more kind of an all-around bass tuba mouthpiece, uh, the orchestral one being a little clearer and brighter for projecting, uh, projection in the orchestra that Mike prefers. So that's the news on the Roy Lance models. On the Olka models, uh, they're not going to have those, because of a, of a mix-up uh, with... Uh, in the, the chain of supply, so to speak. None of the new Olka models will be available at the Army Conference. All of the Roy Lance models will be there that I just discussed. The uh, Olka models will be available probably by the end of February for order on the Dylan Music website. So uh, the news about the Olka models are what was previously the CB1 is going to be just called the C1L. And currently all of my um, uh, C mouthpieces are going to only be uh, offered in the lightweight uh, blanks until we find out if there's enough uh, interest in medium and heavyweight versions as well. Uh, so if you, if you like the, the models that I've got available right now, they uh, could possibly be uh, offered in the future in a medium and heavyweight blank. Just let everybody know, either you know, uh, talk, you know, hit me on the, uh, the uh, comment section on this video or reach out to Dylan Music and tell them that you would like one of my models available in a medium or heavy. But for, for right now, um, these models will only be offered in lightweight. So uh, the CB1, as, as all of you that have one know, will now be called the C1L. The CB2, which has been one of the most popular mouthpieces uh, of the Dylan lines, 
the CV2 is now going to be called the C2L. Uh, and then I'm offering a new model called the C3, which is it falls right between the C, what used to be the CV1 and what uh, used to be the CV2. Some people thought the CV1 was a little too big and some people feel like the CV2 is a little bit too small. Well, this is going to play right in the middle. It's got the same rim and cup uh, design as the CV2, but a little bit larger throat and a different design in the back bore. And that's currently what I've been playing on almost exclusively for the last year and a half. So that's going to be the C3L. And again, all of those models are offered in the Euro shank or the American shank. And currently, until we gauge interest for medium and heavyweight models, just in what we've come to know uh, as the regular uh, weight blank, which is the lightweight blank. Also, uh, there's going to be a new Olka rotary, uh, rotary valve contrabass model, and that's going to be called the RC, standing for Rotary Contrabass, model number one, and that's in a medium weight blank and that will be offered with an American or European shank as well. Also, we're working on a new base tuba, Olka base tuba model, and that one will be called the Olka B2L because that's a lightweight blank, and that will be offered in European and American. So, if I haven't confused you guys enough, all of this information, I'm going to try and put it in you know, annotations and subtitles throughout this video, but you'll also be able to go onto the updated Dylan Music website when these are all available by the end of uh, probably February uh, and look for the specs and descriptions. But here's a rundown real quick of how we're trying to standardize designations for the various Dylan uh, tuba mouthpiece models between the Roy Lance and Olka lines. Uh, first, obviously, TD stands for Thunderdome, and that that's uh, what Mike is using for his indicators. Then we've got C stands for contrabass, RC stands for rotary contrabass, B stands for bass tubas, then one, two, and three is just the chronological order in which they're rolled out. So one is the first model offered, two is the second, three is the third, et cetera, et cetera. Then we've got L stands for lightweight blank, M stands for medium weight blank, H stands for uh, heavyweight blank, E obviously stands for uh, European shank, A stands for American shank, and I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, for those of you wondering, the E uh, European size shank will start with a .540 inch outer, dyna uh, uh, outer diameter, uh, which is also 13.71 millimeters at the beginning of the taper at the bottom. The American shank will start at 0.525 inches, which is 13.33 millimeters for the starting taper. So, sorry to just rattle on with all this information, but I wanted to get that out there. Again, all of the new Roy Lance models will be available for you to test at the Dylan Music booth uh, at this year's Army Band Tuba Euphonium Conference. My apologies, but none of the new uh, Olka models will be at the Army Conference this year. Unfortunately, there was a mix-up in uh, the, the supply chain, and we didn't get those done quite uh, quickly enough. I think they're probably, as we speak, heading out to the platers and should be available for, uh, for order or for testing at Dylan Music's website or in their shop in Woodbridge, New Jersey, uh, by the end of February. I'm hoping, keep my fingers crossed. So I think that's it. Sorry for the long uh, uh, video, but uh, I'm really excited for these models to hit the uh, market and for people to, to try them and see what they, what they think about them. Uh, the Olka models and the Roy Lance models that exist currently uh, have been extremely popular and very well received. So thank you guys for your support and your feedback uh, uh, in a positive way. And again, I can't say enough uh, uh, good things and, and say enough of a thank you to Steve Dillon for, for believing in Mike and I and putting his money where his mouth is, uh, his mouth is and backing us up in this project. We've, uh, Mike and I have enjoyed working together on this project and we're thrilled that we can endorse these mouthpieces and get them out to the public and offer you know, something that maybe isn't available from another manufacturer. So that's it. I hope you guys are having a great 2020 so far. 
and uh, stay tuned for more exciting uh, developments throughout the year. Thanks. Take care. Bye.